Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,328. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,327 to 1,328 start or the finished file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we've got a great video here. we got to see how to do case-sensitive filtering adding and counting with Power Query. Now, I've already done a couple videos on case sensitive adding and counting. Here they are over here. And we did this with a formula. We simply use the exact function. Now, the exact function checks whether two items are exactly the same and it's case sensitive. So that's the formula for counting. That's the formula for adding. If you want to see the logic behind those two, you can watch these videos. I want to talk about Power Query in this video. Now, before we jump over to Power Query, we're going to actually have to convert this to an Excel table because you can't bring it into Power Query without having your data set as an Excel table. Now, with a single cell in the table, we go up to Insert Table, or we use the keyboard Control-T. Now I'm going to click OK. I'm definitely going to name this table, so I go up to Design, over to Properties, and create a table name. Or I can use the keyboard Alt-J-T-A. Now I'm going to name this Company Sales and Enter. Now. When I convert it to a table, it's actually kind of nice, these drop downs here, we can sort or filter. Now notice down here what filter always does is it looks through and it presents a unique list. But this is not case sensitive. And when I uncheck all and select Mr. Excel only, notice capital at the beginning of each word and click OK. It's going to show me all the Mr. Excels because it's not case sensitive. So in an Excel spreadsheet, filter is not case sensitive. Control Z. Now let's bring this into Power Query and see if we can filter, create this count report and this sales report. Single cell in your Excel table, data, and get and transform is Power Query. Now in earlier versions, 2013 and 10, you actually have to download Power Query and it's a separate tab. But in 2016, here it is built in. From table is the button we want when we want to get an Excel table into the Power Query editor. Or you can use the keyboard Alt-A-P-T. Here's our Power Query editor. Now, we're going to see that filtering over here is case sensitive. And this is amazing. If I click the drop down, filters will always show you a unique list. And sure enough, case sensitive filtering. So if I wanted to see only capital Mr. Excel, I could do it over in Power Query. Click OK. There it is. Now that's not what we're going to do. We're going to actually create those two reports and export them. So I'm going to unfilter everything, select all, click OK. Now, anytime we're doing counting or adding with conditions or criteria over in Excel, we either do an array formula like we had to do if we have special criteria that count ifs and some ifs can't do, or we use count ifs and some ifs. But over in Power Query, this is more like access or structured query language. We need to group by. Now, what this group by feature does is it looks through whichever column you select. It will instantly show you a unique list of the items here. And then it will do some calculation either on the actual column for counting or on the sales where we would add. So the first report we want to do is the counting report. So I select that column, group by. I want to group by company. Count is a good column name. And we want to count rows. Notice there's not a count there, because it will automatically count how many rows based on the unique criteria. So when I click OK, there is our report. I'm going to close and load to. I want to load this as a table. I want to put it on this existing worksheet. I'm going to highlight this, and I want it in cell D15. So I'm going to type D15. Click Load. And there is our report. Now, I actually forgot one step, so I want to come over here, right click 
down to properties because I actually want to give the query and the actual table that was exported a different name than company sales. That company sales was, his, was the name of this table. So I'm going to call this something like company case sensitive count. Click OK. Now we have the query name over here. And actually, if we were to look up in the table tools, because our report that was loaded got loaded as a table, and there is the name. Now let's go up and create our second report for adding. Click in a single cell, Alt-A-P-T. Select Company column, Group By. We still want to group by company. We definitely want to call this something like total sales. We don't want to count. We actually want to sum, which will give us access to this dropdown. And we can say which column. We definitely want to sum by sales. So group by is like count ifs in the last example. Here it's like sum ifs. Or in Access or SQL, it's group by with some aggregate calculation. And I click OK. There is our report. I'm going to come over here and name this Company Case Sensitive Total Sales and Enter. Now I can load this Close and Load to Table on an existing sheet. I want to put it in cell, cell A15. So I'm going to come over here, A15, and click Load. And just like that, with Power Query, we have performed adding with case sensitive criteria, counting with case sensitive criteria. And we saw that internally in the Power Query user interface, we had the ability to filter. All right, we'll see you next trick.